Today, as India stands as the sixth largest coffee producer in the world, it's essential to delve deep into this culture, understand its roots, and appreciate its significance. This journey will take us through the coffee plantations of the South, the traditional brewing methods that have been passed down generations, and the modern coffee houses that are redefining India's cafe culture. The history of coffee in India is a blend of legend, enterprise and cultural evolution. While coffee's global origins trace back to Ethiopia, its journey to the Indian subcontinent is a tale of transformation. In the 16th century, Baba Budan, a revered Sufi saint from Karnataka, embarked on a pilgrimage to Mecca. During his travels, he visited the Yemeni port of Mocha, renowned for its coffee trade. Captivated by the taste of the Mocha coffee beans, Baba Budan decided to introduce them to India. In a daring act, given the strict trade regulations of the time, he smuggled seven coffee beans, hiding them in his beard, and journeyed back to his homeland. Upon his return, Baba Budan planted these beans on the slopes of the Chandragiri Hills in Karnataka. These hills, today known as the Baba Budan Hills, mark the genesis of coffee cultivation in India. The British East India Company helped spread the cultivation of coffee across India, and commercial coffee farming flourished. Recognising the potential of coffee as a lucrative crop, they established vast coffee estates, especially in the southern regions. These plantations not only transformed the landscape, but also became hubs of culture and community. The British also institutionalised the coffee trade by establishing the Indian Coffee Board in the early 20th century. This body was responsible for research, promotion and overseeing the overall development of the coffee industry in India. Post-independence, coffee plantations faced numerous challenges, from adapting to new land ownership structures to navigating global market dynamics. However, with innovation, resilience and support from both the government and private sectors, Indian coffee has maintained its global presence. Today, modern coffee plantations in India are a blend of tradition and innovation. While age-old practices are revered, there's also a focus on sustainable farming, technological advancements, and meeting global quality standards. Deep within southern India's verdant forest regions lies a distinctive cultivation practice called shade-grown coffee. This method harmoniously integrates coffee shrubs under a dense canopy of varied tree species, creating a biodiversity hotspot, teeming with flora and fauna alike while improving soil health. The interdependence between coffee plants and other vegetation in these bio forests results in an intricate ecosystem that produces beans brimming with unique flavors infused by their environment while mitigating climate change effects by sequestering carbon dioxide efficiently. Coffee farmers also engage in practices such as intercropping, that's cultivating multiple crops together, using bird-friendly methods to control pests naturally and ensuring both ecological balance and diverse income sources for rural families. Indian coffee varieties and cultivation practices are an embodiment of the country's relentless pursuit of sustainable agricultural models that not only yield high quality beans, but also contribute towards protecting the environment and supporting livelihoods. India's relationship with coffee is not just about cultivation and varieties, it's deeply rooted in the rituals of preparation and consumption. 
The way coffee is brewed and enjoyed in India is a testament to the country, blending age-old traditions with contemporary tastes. In India, they brew filter kapi, or Indian filter coffee, by percolating finely ground coffee powder with chicory. While traditional preparations like kapi hold a special place in the hearts of many, India's coffee scene is also evolving to embrace global trends. The Indian espresso, for instance, is a nod to the global espresso culture, but with a distinct Indian touch. Brewed under high pressure, this coffee captures the essence of Indian beans, offering a robust flavour profile that's both familiar and novel. India's rich culinary heritage plays a role in its coffee culture. It's not uncommon to find coffee infused with local spices, like cardamom or ginger, especially in regions where these spices are cultivated. These additions transform the coffee experience, adding layers of flavour and warmth, and making each sip a journey through India's diverse landscapes. Indian cuisine offers a wide array of flavours and coffee has seamlessly integrated into this diverse palette. Take for instance coffee kulfi. Kulfi is a traditional Indian ice cream that is denser and creamier than its Western counterpart. In its coffee infused version, freshly brewed coffee is blended with condensed milk, cream and nuts and then frozen to create a rich creamy delight. Then there's the masala chai cake. At its core, it's a spiced tea cake infused with cardamom, ginger and cloves. But here's the twist. Coffee is added to the batter, its boldness complementing the spicy notes of the chai, creating a harmonious blend of two drinks in one dessert. And let's not forget coffee halva. Halva is a dense, sweet confection made from grain flour, ghee and sugar. In the coffee version, a strong coffee decoction is mixed into the halva base. The coffee house culture in India is a reflection of the nation's evolving socio-cultural dynamics. From traditional gathering spots to contemporary cafes, the Indian Coffee House brand, established in the 1940s, holds a special place in India's coffee narrative. The first of its kind opened its doors in 1957. With over 400 locations today, the Indian Coffee House is more than just a cafe. It's a symbol of India's post-independence aspirations and cultural renaissance. While traditional coffee houses have their charm, the last few decades have witnessed the emergence of modern coffee chains that cater to the urban populace's evolving tastes. Cafe Coffee Day, often dubbed the Starbucks of India, has been instrumental in this transformation. With over 1,500 stores across the country, it has introduced a new generation to coffee culture, offering a blend of local flavours and global trends. The success of Cafe Coffee Day paved the way for other chains, both domestic and international, to flourish. Starbucks, Costa Coffee and Barista are just a few names that have found a loyal customer base in India. Like any journey, the story of coffee in India has its share of challenges. From fluctuating global coffee prices affecting local farmers to the threats posed by climate change and pests, the coffee industry faces numerous hurdles. Yet the resilience of the Indian coffee community is commendable. They've adopted sustainable farming practices, innovative cultivation methods, and even diversified their crops to navigate these challenges. Looking ahead, the future of coffee in India seems promising. With a growing domestic demand 
especially among the younger generation, and the global appreciation for Indian coffee varieties, the industry is poised for growth. As we embrace modernity, it's essential to ensure that the traditions, values, and very essence of Indian coffee culture are preserved and celebrated. From the legend of Baba Budan to the bustling cafes of today, coffee has woven itself into the very fabric of Indian society. The challenges faced by the industry, the innovations adopted, and the hope for a brighter future all signify the resilience and spirit of the Indian coffee community. As we look ahead, it's clear that the story of coffee in India is still being written with each sip, with each brew, and with each conversation, adding a new chapter to this ever evolving tale. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Indian coffee culture. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye.